welcome back my youtube channel ncrt math sub today in this video we will do worksheet number 55 for class 10 subject mathematics so in this video we are going to do some problems based on combination of plane figures so let's begin with example number one with vertices a b and c of triangle abc as centers arcs are drawn with radius 6 cm each in the figure if we have if ab equals to 20 cm BC as 48 cm and C as 52 cm then find the area of violet shaded region. So we have a triangle ABC in which AB as 20 cm, BC as 48 cm and AC as 52 cm. So now arcs are drawn on the vertex A, B and C with radius 6 cm. So these are the three sectors. So we are to find the area of the shaded region. So area of shaded region will be equals to area of triangle minus area of three sectors. So here area of triangle will be 1 by 2 into base into height here 1 by 2 and base is BC that is 48 centimeter and height is AB that is 20 centimeter. So minus area of three sectors that is area of sector this one area of this one and area of this one. So area of sector 1 will be theta upon theta 1 upon 360 into pi r square as radius is same in each sector plus theta 2 upon 360 into pi r square plus theta 3 upon 360 into pi r square so we can take pi r square upon 360 as common so inside angle will be theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 and we know that all the three angles are the angles of a triangle that is some of these angle will be 180 degree so here theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 become 180 degree so 180 upon 360 into pi that is 22 by 7 and r square that is 6 into 6 so we have 180 degree upon 360 and pi is 22 by 7 and radius is 6 so 6 into 6 so now simplify these values so after simplifying this one we will get as 480 and after simplifying this one we will get 56.57 or we can say 56.57 so after subtracting we will get 423.43 centimeter square as the area of shaded region so now we have example number 2 as you can see on the screen Find the area of shaded region in the figure where a circular arc of radius 6 cm has been drawn with the vertex O of an equilateral triangle OAB of side 12 cm as center. So you can see we have an equilateral triangle AOB as side 12 cm and a circle is drawn on vertex O with the radius 6 cm. So now we are to find the area of shaded region that is this complete region we are to find. So you can observe that area of triangle plus area of circle minus area of sector will be the area of shaded region. So area of shaded region will be area of circle minus area of sector plus area of triangle. So area of circle we all know that pi r square. So apply the formula pi r square minus area of sector that is theta upon 360 into pi r square. As triangle is equilateral triangle so angle will be here 60 degree. So 60 upon 360 into pi r square plus area of equilateral triangle that is under root 3 by 4 into side square. So here you can see this one will be 1 upon 6, 60 upon 360 will be 1 by 6. So after simplifying these two values, we will get 5 by 6 into pi r square and root 3 by 4 into side that is side of equilateral triangle that is 12 centimeter. So put here as 12. So 5 by 6 and pi is 22 by 7, radius is 6 into 6 plus root 3 by 4 and 12 square become 144. And after simplifying, we will get 660. 660 upon 7 plus 3603 centimeter square as the area of shaded region. So now we have example number 3. So we are given a figure. So in figure, figure depicts a racing track whose left and right ends are semicircular and the distance between two inner parallel line segment is 60 meter. So we are given this distance as 60 meter and the they are each 106 meter long. So the length of this part is 106 meter. If the track is 10 meter wide, the width of track is we are given as 10 meter. We are to find the distance around the along the inner edge of the track and the area of the track. We are to find distance around the track along its inner edge and the area of track. So here you can see in the figure we are given the distance between two parallel line segment is 60 meter and width of track is 10 meter and length of each parallel line segment is 100. 6 meter so here diameter you can see 60 meter so radius will be 30 meter for inner semicircular region so radius of inner semicircular region will be 30 meter so this one and 
radius for outer semicircle will be 30 plus 10 that is 40 meter so keep in mind radius of inner semicircular region that is small r we can say that is 30 meter and radius for outer semicircular region will be this one will be 30 plus 10 that the 10 is the width of the path or width of the track so outer radius will be 40 meter keep in mind so now proceed for the solution so here we are given diameter that is 60 meter radius is 60.2 that is 30 meter so therefore distance around along the inner edge will be 2 into length that is this one 106 and here 106 plus 2 into the perimeter of semicircular region so half of 2 pi r and we are considering this one inner semicircle so half of 2 pi r so this will be 2 into 106 plus 2 pi r this will be 212 plus 2 into pi that is 22 by 7 into 30 now after simplifying we will get 2804 by 7 meter as the distance around along the inner edge of the track so now we have to find the area of track so area of track will be here you can see we have two triangle two rectangles you can see this rectangle and this rectangle and two semicircular rings on the left and right sides so area of rectangle AEGC plus area of rectangle BFHD plus area of two semicircular ring that will be 2 into 1 by 2 pi r square minus half of pi r square so the key capital R you use kya up capital bade ring mein se bade semicircle mein se up smaller semicircle ka area minus karenge to hume ye reason mil jata hai and this is the half semicircular ring on the right hand side similarly we have half semicircular ring on the left hand side so we are doing twice so half of pi r square minus half of small uh, half of pi r smaller r square so put all the values here so area of rectangle will be length into breadth length we have 106 meter and breadth is 10 meter plus area of another rectangle that is again 10 into 106 and 2 take 1 by 2 as common so 2 2 will be cancelled so pi is also taken as common so pi 22 by 7 and capital r is 40 we have already discussed in the beginning of this example so capital r is 40 meter and small r is 30 meter so after simplifying we will get 4320 meter square as the area of shaded region or area of track so this is all about example number three so now we have given two practice questions so move ahead for the solution part the question number one is in figure abc a quadrant of circle of radius 14 centimeter and a semicircle is drawn with the radius with the bc as diameter find the area of shaded region so we are given a quadrant bac with the radius ba equals to ac equals to 14 centimeter and a semicircle is drawn with bc as diameter so this is the semicircle we need to find this shaded region hame shaded region ka area find out karna hai so radius of circle that is r equals to radius of circle of quadrant we are given r equals to ab equals to ac that is 14 centimeter so now as abc is a quadrant we are given abc or bac as quadrant therefore angle bac will be right angle so bac will be 90 degree so now by using pythagoras theorem we can see here bc square will be equals to ab square plus ac square so bc square will be ab square plus ac square here ab is 14 and ac is also 14 as that these are two radii of circle or you can say radio quadrant of circle so 14 square plus 14 square become becoming twice so 2 into 14 square and this square becomes square root so square root of 2 into 14 square so now square square root will be cancelled so 14 root 2 will be the diameter that is bc so bc is 14 under root 2 centimeter so diameter of semicircle is bc equals to 14 under root 2 centimeter so now radius of semicircle will be 14 under root 2 upon 2 that is 7 root 2 centimeter so now area of shaded region area of shaded region will be area of semicircular circle of radius 7 root 2 centimeter plus area of triangle bac minus area of quadrant of radius 14 centimeter so area of semicircle of radius 7 root 2 centimeter will be pi by 2 or you can say 1 by 2 pi r square so 1 by 2 into pi into r square that is radius that is 7 under root 2 centimeter so 7 under root 2 whole square and area of triangle will be 1 by 2 into base into height as this is quadrant and quadrant have central angle as 90 degree so triangle will be right angle 1 by 2 into base that is 14 and height is 14 that is radius of circle so now area of quadrant of radius 14 centimeter will be 90 degree upon 360 into pi and radius is 14 centimeter so now simplify these values pi upon 2 7 
square become 49 and root square become 2 so 2 2 will be cancelled here it will be 49 pi similarly 2 7 14 14 7 ja 4 98 and similarly 90 upon 360 become 1 by 4 pi will remain same and 14 square become 14 into 14 so after simplifying this will also become 49 pi so you can see on the screen 49 pi 49 pi will be cancelled and here we have 98 as the area of shaded region so this is all about question number one so now proceed for question number two three circles each of radius centimeter are drawn in such a way that each of these touches the other two circles find the area enclosed between the circles so we are given three circles you can see on the screen here and each circle touching other two circles externally so you can see here this 7 cm and this 7 cm will form a side AC similarly here AB and similarly here BC so radius of each circle is 7 cm as circle touches each other therefore these three circle forms equilateral triangle as you can see on the screen ABC as shown in figure so with side 7 plus 7 that is 14 cm so we have a triangle ABC with side 14 cm so angle ABC, angle BCA or angle BAC will be 60 degree each as triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. So each angle will be of 60 degree so, and side of equilateral triangle is 14 centimeter. Side, side kitni hamare paas 14 centimeter hai. So now area enclosed between this circle will be area of this shaded region. So we need to find this shaded region. So area enclosed between the circle that is area of shaded region will be area of equilateral triangle with the side 14 centimeter minus area of three sector with each radius as 7 centimeter and central angle as 60 degree so area of equilateral triangle will be n root 3 by 4 into side square and area of three sector will be 3 into theta upon 360 into pi r square so n root 3 by 4 into side square that is 14 square and 3 into theta is 60 degree as triangle is equilateral triangle upon 360 and pi 22 by 7 and radius is 7 and 7 so after simplifying we will get as root 3 we will take as 1.7 14 square into 4, 14 square will be 14 into 14 and here 4 and after simplifying this we will get 77 so 83.3 minus 77 will be 6.3 centimeter square that is area of shaded region so this is all about question but example question number 2 and worksheet number 55 so if you learn from this video then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can thanks for watching